Uh, one last video for the night. <clears throat> I didn't want to make you watch the whole video. Um, in light of the uh, revelations that the warmongering Democrat Biden administration uh, and the warmongering Democrat Party in, as a whole uh, have unleashed this uh, terror upon the world, let's uh, just give you the latest numbers. You've got 384 airplanes, uh, 207 helicopters, 3,114 unmanned aerial vehicles, 404 air defense missile systems, 7,852 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,017 multiple rocket launchers, 4,082 field artillery cannons and mortars, and 8,000 uh, special military motor vehicles. Now, why do you think NATO has run out of munitions? Uh, Ukraine is running out of um, shells, and uh, there's no way we can match the Russians, uh, you know, with uh, munitions. I did uh, hear reports today that uh, the U.S. is training um, special military units to go in and commit terrorist actions in Russia. I am sure that Russia has uh, their own uh, t special forces here in the United States with their open border. Uh, they are willing to go tit for tat. Uh, so if we want to go into that war with the warmongering Democrats committing us into another whole escalade of this war, uh, it's possible. I will tell you this, uh, the, the latest uh, news that I saw on the war, um, Russia, well, we knew, we knew that the major offensive was coming. Uh, I just didn't think, it would, I thought they would wait till the 24th. Now, maybe they're going to wait for the 24th to, to move the major uh amount of their forces into uh, Ukraine and just crush it from this point on. Uh, but I do believe uh, that uh, they be they have begun today. Uh, there is another major missile launch uh, taking place as we speak, uh, and it's, uh, it's devastating. Um, I can't imagine uh, being on the receiving end of that. This is what NATO wanted. This is what the Biden administration wanted. This is what the warmongering Democrats wanted. <clears throat> this war needs to come to an end before we are all uh, dust. Just dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Anyway, I hope these numbers mean something to you. This is the hardware that NATO has poured into this war and that Russia has destroyed and has continued to destroy daily. And these aren't the lives that are associated. By the way, the uh, I did get a new update on the Ukrainian numbers. Um, we're looking at uh, between 200 to 500,000 confirmed dead Ukrainians at this point. Uh, God knows how many Russians. I don't know. Um, I haven't heard reports on that. The Russians only report on the uh, Ukrainian dead, for obviously for propaganda reasons. Uh, I, I've heard much less numbers. I mean, probably on a 1 to 10 ratio. So make of that what you will. But uh, and then, of course, you're not taking into the account casualties. Uh, we could be looking at upwards of, of 500 to a million Ukrainians uh, that are, are, are casualties of this war. Uh, in the end, uh, and, and by the way, that's uh, that's another thing that I'm seeing. Uh, you have to understand that in the end of World War II, um, probably the last few months of the war saw more German casualties than probably an entire war. And, uh, and that's where we are at this point. Uh, we're going to see uh, rapidly, rapidly escalating casualties of Ukrainians. Uh, so let's say we're at 200 to 500,000 uh, you could easily see another 500,000 uh, Ukrainian casualties uh, within the next uh, month, month or two, maybe three. Uh, as as things escalate, uh, you know, I mean, we've never seen uh, war on this type of scale, obviously, since World War II. Um, and this is what NATO wanted. This is what the Biden administration wanted. This is what the warmongering Democrats wanted. Peace out. Stay free. I just, I'm horrified. I'm horrified to watch this. I can't believe that Democrats uh, are so heartless and want this to continue, but this is what their party is all about.